All right, guys, it's uh, 6.20 in the morning right now. And um, I'm just gonna go for a run, basically, and show you guys how to do some stop and drop activism. So we have these right here, and we're gonna hand them out now. Alrighty, so I just got to the trail and what I like to do is just drop these little leaflets at every single bench in the trail and there's a lot of people that come here so they'll see this when they get tired and come sit down or something so that's cool. There we go. Second bench of the day. Holy shit, I almost fell. <laughs> oh my god. The last two ones. So, guys, this is the last one, and my phone is about to die. It's on one percent. So, this is a really beautiful place right here, and this is where the trail ends. So, I'm just gonna place this right here. Look at that. Got a pimple. Must be the vegan lifestyle. Anyways, guys, what's up? Back from the trail. Um, after I put down my last leaflet, my phone had died, which was pretty good timing by my phone, but I wish it didn't die anyway, because I would have filmed a bit more, but I'm gonna be moving soon, and that trail is so beautiful. It's honestly my favorite place to go where I currently live. In the city I currently live, I feel like it's the best place to, for me, you know, I go there to run, um, clear my mind. That's when I lost uh, all my weight because I was cutting really hard. I was running miles and miles on that one trail. So I like to go there and drop leaflets there and just spread veganism through my city. And that's a good way to spread veganism through your city. Um, it's just going around and dropping, you know, the leaflets, giving them to people. And some people will ignore them at first, but a lot of people go through that trail all throughout the day. So eventually someone's going to get curious and they're going to pick it up. And for what it's worth, you know, they might go vegan. They might tell somebody else about it or they might just think about it, go vegan in the future. But whatever, whatever it's worth, somebody might get the message and eventually go vegan. So I think that's worth it to me. 
and that's why I do what I do. So I also had a fun time just cruising around the trail, um, seeing nature, saying saying what's up to other people, saying good morning and stuff. So things like that is fun too. I also saw a trail, almost busted my ass, but <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. But yeah, had fun time and you know, you're not doing things right if you're not having a fun time while you're doing them. So enjoy vegan activism, enjoy fighting for the animals. You have to enjoy everything you do. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to keep doing it. But anyways, guys, give this a try. These leaflets and pamphlets that I have, you can get them free from PETA, I believe. Um, a friend actually sent that to me for free and I have a bunch of them. But I believe you can get some things from PETA if you're an activist for free. So I think you can do that. So I suggest going to their website and I'll try and link something down in the description that will take you to that. But yeah, you guys should definitely give this a try and do this in your own city and spread veganism and animal rights. So that's basically it for the day and I wish everyone a wonderful day. But before I let you guys go, ab check. Yes, sir, look at those pegs. That's what I got from eating soy daily. So anyways, I smell nasty right now. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and go do some vegan activism. And remember, stay vegan for the animals, but also follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, give me money, link in the description, go fund me so I can get more camera equipment and make better quality content for you guys. So with that being said, my stink is talking. You hear that? You know what my sink just said? You need to stop abusing animals and go vegan.